Hello, I'm DJ Oliver and this is Detroit Performs. Now, as one of the world's most famous photographers, Ansel Adams said, a great photograph is one that fully expresses what one feels, in the deepest sense, about what's being photographed. Each artist highlighted in today's show exemplifies this thought. Now, we are here at Detroit to Quindercut Greenway, the inspiration for photographer and filmmaker Michelle Adonian and musician and composer Luis Resto's film, The Cut, which tells the story of the past's constant changes while holding on to its past. We're here in downtown Detroit on an abandoned train line which runs right through the middle of the city. Uh, starts at the riverfront and from the riverfront up till Gratiot right now it's a bike path called the Dequinder Cut. This area will be joining the Dequinder Cut over the next year and a half. Um, so this is really a piece of Detroit that has gone back to what it was like over a century ago. Luis Resto and I had been talking about collaborating together on a project. He's a musician um, based in Detroit, but uh, has an incredible history in all genres of music. He um, used to, he was inspired by his grandmother who used to play piano for silent movies. He's a pianist and um, we wanted to tell a story about Detroit. When I first looked down on the Dequinder Cut and knew that it was going to be renovated into a bike path, I wanted to be able to photograph the changes and capture them because that's what I love about photography, it's a, is its ability to hold on to the past. I've been down here photographing for almost a year and um, I've been capturing it in different seasons. Uh, it's just really interesting to see how the landscape evolves and changes along with the graffiti. It's just really inspiring. So what I ended up photographing down in the Dequinder Cut and making out of the imagery and motion was a silent movie that he could improvise music to. This is an area that I keep coming back to. I've been here in the summer, in the winter, in the fall, and now it's spring. I'm tracking these, photographing these vines, this vine that flows in down around the building. It's just a great timeline for the whole piece. The cut, uh, when you walk into the performance space, you're looking at a setup of an acoustic piano um, with various electronics on top of it and uh, white perf, perf boards on it, right? Yeah, foam core. Foam core. So and it's foreground background. I come in and sort of get into a cockpit <laughs> and lights go down and these images of the Dequinder cut are projected on not only a scrim behind me and the uh, what is this called? foreground, uh, the foreground, but on me as well because I'm in a white shirt. Uh, last performance we did with a white jacket. So as an audience uh, participant, you uh, can get lost looking at this image uh, that is projected on me plus the back wall, and sometimes I disappear. I improvise and react to visual, to sonic, um, to artists pretty, pretty easily. So when I saw Michelle's images, I just, you know, start playing. And that's um, 
So that part wasn't too tough. It, it, I just start and go and something comes out and then I react off of that and go on to the next point. And uh, that's where then the two, the, the two uh, forms, the, the visual and the sound start kind of interweaving, you know, because I've, I've um, improvised forever, but uh, visually and letting that into the, the spectrum, uh, that's, uh, they, they become unified at that point. And I think that's where the piece then becomes the collaboration, just like a, uh, a ballet piece, you know, where the music that uh, is written for it becomes one at that point. Luis Resto also has one of the most memorable piano lines, as well as co-wrote the biggest hit to come out of Detroit in years, the Grammy and Oscar-nominated song, Lose Yourself by Eminem, one of my favorites, y'all. To learn more about Luis and Michelle, visit michelleladonian.com and luisresto.com.